We spoke to style conscious people in the US, India and China about their shoes and the factors that influence their buying behaviour and choices. This is what they told us. Think of Clarks as being a European brand. Um, I know that they make quality shoes. I think my husband actually has a pair of those desert boots that they make. They're, they are the kind of shoes you'd wear your whole life. They're like shoes you kind of always have around as like shoes you can turn to. What I like about Clarks is they're kind of classic. They're safe. I mean, I think it's pretty beloved as a brand. It's got a lot of heritage. Um, you know, I know it's British. It's sort of, they have like the two or three classic shoes, the desert boots and the wallabies. I mean, what I like about them is they're like really well made. You can wear them forever. Clarks. Clarks is a bit outdated. If I want to buy a pair of travel shoes for my parents, probably I'll think about Clarks. My shoes generally fall into two categories. One are comfortable shoes that I wear all the time. The other type of shoe that I have are my cooler shoes that I'll wear to like a meeting at a magazine or out with my husband. Sportswear, evening wear, workwear, and casual wear. And then sports shoes, high heels, designer branded shoes. I sort of have shoes for different roles. So I have some, like some sneakers, which I'll wear mostly in the summer. I have dress shoes that are, are for weddings or to go with suits. Uh, I have boots for winter. And then I have sort of semi-dressy casual shoes. I look online. You always know what trends are new and what's going on. So uh, also I get regular updates from Shoe Mint in my emails. I have a few my favorite shoe shop and I believe they have the really good collection, up to date ones. So if I go there, I can always find good ones. Uh, honestly, uh, other guys, um, probably. I don't really, like, I don't really read men's magazines. I was reading a blog that I really like, and she was on a trip to Paris. She was wearing these shoes with, like, a silk shirt and black jeans, and she just looked so cute. It was a crazy purchase. I just, like, went to Nordstrom.com and bought the shoes in three colors. And I really prefer going to the malls, not to one particular store, because there's such a big variety to choose from and so many different styles. J. Crew, and I really like the online retailer Shopbop. I go to IT, you know, the Hong Kong multi-label fashion shoe store. I like to buy there because they have lots of different brands. J. Crew, uh, Stephen Allen. Uh, I recently bought a bunch of stuff at Club Monaco. I would never go to like the exact brand, like I wouldn't go to Converse to buy a pair of Converse, I would go to a, a bigger retailer. When I'm shopping online, a frustration that I have is when they don't show the shoe on a person. At the end of the day, you want to see what it looks like on somebody's leg, how high the heel actually looks when it's on. Definitely in store. For shoes, you have to try, to, try them on, otherwise you don't know if they fit or not. I shop 100% online. I don't think I've been to a store to buy clothes literally in two and a half years since my son was born. Uh, honestly, I prefer a combination. I would say a combination of the two. Um, shoes are like literally the only clothing I would buy online. I guess if I just like wearing them, like if they're comfortable, if I feel cute in them, if there isn't a breaking in period, I know I've picked the right pair of shoes. Honestly, that I'm wearing them, because uh, I'll buy shoes and bring them home and then not end up wearing them. Sometimes just send a link to my friends via Facebook, or sometimes they take Instagram pictures. I'll tell my friends just word of mouth, but I'll also tell people on my blog. I really love sharing when I find something that I love, um, whether it's like shoes or some other piece of clothing. To be honest, like only if they ask, um, I don't think guys sit around shop chatting about shoes with each other.